Okay, the environmental science class. Uh, I want to go over part of your pre response problem that was on your last test on Earth system and resources. I want to do this to emphasize how to read a chart, how to read a table, and also to remind you how to use dimensional analysis to work math problems in AP environmental science. So the question at first had a lot of text and it was describing uh, termites in a tropical rainforest. And he gave you some information that said that termites can be up to 95% of the insect biomass in the rainforest. It told you that under optimal conditions, the termites could produce 70 kilograms of methane per year per 1,000 termites under optimal conditions. And then it gave you a table that showed you the rate at which uh, the termites consumed wood. Okay? So the first question that it asks you is what were the optimal conditions? So if you understand what optimal conditions means, this, this really shouldn't be a difficult question. Uh, we just want to know when the termites eat the most wood, when they consume wood at the fastest rate. So if we look at the table, we're looking for the fastest rate, we're looking for the biggest number, that's 0.27. So here is the fastest rate. So what are those optimal conditions? It's 30 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity. So 30 degrees Celsius and 90% humidity. So that, that's all I was really looking forward on the first part. Uh, the part that I really want to focus on though is the second part where it gives you some additional information. It tells you that in this particular rainforest there are 4.5 times 10 to the 7 termites per hectare and it's a 2,000 hectare forest. And what it asks you to find is how many kilograms of methane that this, the termites in this forest would produce per year. So you may at first be confused, so what we want to do is we want to look at our information. And I always like to start with what I'm looking for, begin with the end in mind. So what I'm looking for here is kilograms of methane. So let's look at all the things that I know. 95% of insect biomass possibly has nothing to do with the kilograms. Well, look, here's kilograms of methane. Look, kilograms of methane per year. Look, kilograms of methane per year. This almost has what I want, okay? So I want to start with a quantity that gives me what I'm looking for, kilograms, okay? I don't want to start with termites, because that's not what I'm looking for. I don't want to start with hectares. That's not what I'm looking for. So I'm going to start with kilograms, because that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to start my problem by saying I got 70 kilograms of methane produced per year for a thousand termites. In other words, I'm starting with what was given to me. Now you'll notice there's a couple things in here that I don't want. I want kilograms of methane per year, but I don't want termites. So I need to get rid of termites. So I look around at my other information. Well, there's this many termites per hectare. Notice termites is on top, hectares on bottom. If we're following the units, if I come over here and I multiply 4.5 times 10 to the 7th termites per hectare, termites cancels. So at this point I would have kilograms of methane per year per hectare. It's almost what I want, but I don't want hectares. So how can I cancel out hectares? Oh. I know it's a 2,000 hectare forest, so I just come over here and I multiply by 2,000 hectares. Now, that's the way that I thought of it. You can think of this different ways. Some of you said, well, if I multiply this times that, that tells me how many termites, and then if I multiply this times that, it gives me kilograms. So you can think of it in a different order, but whatever order you're thinking, you should be able to follow the units until you get what you want. Kilograms of methane per year. Now the setup's done. Really, you could probably work this out without a calculator, but you get a calculator, so feel free to use it. Uh, I'm just gonna say that that's two, and that's uh, 140, and uh, so 6.3 times 10 to the ninth. So I end up with 6.3 times 10 to the ninth kilograms of methane per year. Now there's a couple of things that I want you to remember when you're taking your AP test. First, 
Following the units will help you figure out how to do the problem. Second, show what you did. Remember to get full credit. Not only do you need the correct answer, you need to show your setup. So if your setup is not here, you won't get credit. Okay. So that's going over part A1 and part A2. There's one other part of this question that I want to go over with you, focusing on the math part of the question, and that is um, part B. It says, okay, what would happen if the, the conditions in this forest change so it's not optimal anymore? So if the temperature changed to 35 degrees and the humidity changed to 50 degrees Celsius. So we go back to our table, 35 degrees uh, and 50% humidity. So, oh, I think I may have written this. Make a copy to, oh no, here it is, 0.09, there it is. Now look, under optimal conditions, they're using it this fast, and here they're using it that fast. They're not producing methane as quickly. In fact, I'm hoping that you can see that 0.09 over 0.27 is one third, okay? So what we're looking at is that you, they're producing methane at one third of the rate that they were before. So in a year, they're gonna produce one third of the methane. So if they had this much, to begin with, under optimal conditions, you're going to get one third of that. And even without a calculator, I can see that's 2.1 times 10 to the 9 kilograms of methane.